Hi, I am Nagid Nath, working as CSIR SRF under the guidance of Dr. Svengat Mohan at BE Exhibition, a CSIR Indian Institute of Chemical Technology, Hyderabad. And here I today I present the video of uh, waste remediation uh, by using novel integrated PDBR BET system for textile dye based wastewater. The topic is novel integrated PDBR BET system for the remediation of textile dye based wastewater. And these yeah. institutes where I am coming from and CSIR ICT Hyderabad. What is essential and is used by all flora and fauna present on it? Industry is leaking from binary extra to pollute the open and underground water systems. And uh, what are dyes? Dye is a color substance that has an affinity to the to which it is applied. And uh, the first dye, what is this, uh, is that dates back to the uh, very long time. And human made dye is Mauvin, uh, invented by Perkin. And uh, synthetic dyes replaced uh, natural dyes because of their low cost and everything. Uh, the natural synthetic uh, dyes difference is given in this slide. And uh, synthetic types or many uh, acid mordant and applications. Applications of dyes are used in many uh, food, textile, painting, cosmetic, plastics, coloring, painting, medical, hair dye, holy, etc. And dyeing industry's contribution to the Indian chemical and textile industries is 5%. And wastewater used for the uh, dyeing process is uh, 1 to 3000 uh, uh, liters. Um, and huge amounts of uh, are released into the wastewater of which aromatic amines is a typical pollutant present in the wastewater. It, uh, it is uh, very uh, harmful to the environment and the human uh, health. For human health, it comes to, uh, uh, from environment, it, uh, it is coming by a food chain and uh, direct contact. And this needs to be treated by biological treatment. It has many advantages and actually decoloration uh, takes place by anaerobic and aerobic conditions. And PDBR and BT system for the treatment. And uh, in PDBR, we have used aerobic, anoxic and anaerobic conditions out of which uh, color and the seaward removal was observed in the slides. Whereas in BT system, single chambered and uh, dual chambered are operated, being operated and in this the uh, dye and seaward removal was very high when compared to the PDBR operation. When integrating both PDBR and BT operations, it, uh, it is uh, very uh, successful and efficient for dye removal. It has got uh, more color and seaward removal when compared to uh, either PDBR and uh, BT operation. PDBR-BT system uh, for design to treat acid black 10B dye. In this we are integrating both PDBR and BET systems in a single uh, reactor. The dye requires anaerobic conditions for cleaning azo uh, uh, bond that is N double bond in, uh, into its respective aromatic amines. But this aromatic amines formed are resistant to uh, anaerobic conditions. So they require uh, aerobic conditions for its uh, complete mineralization. The aerobic conditions present will uh, degrade the uh, aromatic amines into simpler reactants like nitrogen sources, uh, ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, CO2, H2O, etc. With the previous experience of operating PDBR uh, at higher dye concentration, the complete mineralization of dye occurs when more anaerobic conditions prevail in the initial stages of cycle operation and uh, later aerobic conditions prevail in the uh, final stages of the cycle operation. In this system, there are four tanks, namely tank 1, 2 or tank 4. The anaerobic conditions prevail in the tank 1 and tank 3, whereas the aerobic conditions prevail in the tank 3 or uh, 2 and tank 4. In the tank 1, the inlet dye concentration will be provided with the help of peristaltic pump at flow rate of uh, 1 litre for 24 hours into the tank 1. The uh, effluent of tank 1 will be provided uh, into the tank 2 uh, by the uh, help of gravitational force for its aerobic uh, degradation. In the uh, tank 1, the anaerobic conditions will degrade the N double bond N and uh, the uh, aromatic amines formed in the anaerobic conditions will be further uh, degraded in the aerobic conditions. There are two setups of uh, both aerobic and anaerobic conditions uh, uh, in uh, single system. These two completely mineralize the aromatic amines which are present after the degradation of uh, azure dyes also. That is why we are integrating both uh, anaerobic and aerobic uh, systems in uh, single uh, reactor twice. So we have four tanks. In, uh, likewise, the uh, tank 2 effluent uh, will be uh, uh, given to the tank 3 and tank 3 is effluent to the tank 4. Whereas in the final effluent uh, collected, the uh, visual uh, Depiction shows that uh, complete uh, mineralization of dye occurs. You can uh, you, uh, see the uh, inlet uh, dye concentration which is very uh, thick blue uh, whereas the uh, tank 1, tank 2, tank 3 and tank 4 are showing visual depiction of uh, uh, dye removal. In the scale the reactor to 60 liter uh, capacity and then uh, the uh, main uh, concept is biorefinery concept. In this we reduce the wastewater by, uh, by remediation, reuse and recover electricity and nutrients out of the uh, Remediation I acknowledge direct ICT committee uh, Indigo project ACSR and Lab Police and uh, thank you very much.